Welcome to the BioWolf Bash scripting class. In this section, we will go over another shell expansion called Command Substitution. Command Substitution is a shell feature that allows the output of a command to replace the command itself. We can take advantage of this and create arguments for other commands, or variables too. Syntax for command substitution includes a dollar sign followed by a parenthesis pair. In between the parentheses is the full command including any arguments or options, or even other valid shell expansions. A second method is to use a pair of backticks or back quotes and place in the command in between. Both ways are acceptable, though the first is preferred, and they work pretty much the same, except when command substitution is nested. With the dollar sign and parenthesis pair syntax, nesting is pretty intuitive. However, with the backticks syntax, we need to prefix the inner backticks with backslashes. Backslashes are often used to avoid or escape the literal representation of characters, and rather letting the shell see them as special instructive characters. Now let's look at command substitution in practice. Here we are on a bash prompt logged into BioWolf. When I first introduced command substitution, I mentioned that this feature replaces the command with its own output. To demonstrate what that means, let's start with an echo command where I echo the characters L and S. LS we know is actually the shell command to list files and directories, but here echo LS literally prints LS on the shell, and this is of course expected behavior. However, if I put the same command inside the command substitution syntax, the shell instead runs the command ls. Let's confirm that. This is how command substitution actually replaces the command, which is echo ls, with the output of that command, which is just ls, and then the shell interprets the command line. Keeping that in mind, running echo a prints the character a, but running echo a inside the command substitution syntax replaces the command line with the output of echo a, which is just a. This leads to an error because a itself is not a command, the bash shell knows. So how can we use command substitution to our advantage? Let's say we receive the file containing 10 sample names. And we need to make a directory for each of these. We could start writing a long command line like so, make directory, sample 066 space sample 032 but this is too tedious and error prone instead we can use command substitution let's use the cat command to read the file again but using command substitution replace the cat command with the output itself and then pass those as arguments to the make directory command Now let's see if that worked. Great. Note that command substitution does a little bit of magic around how it handles new lines with word splitting, so it works out for us, but it is important to remember this. Moving on, let's look at the backtick syntax for command substitution. We'll use ls with the d flag to list the directories themselves and not their contents. Here, the command cat sample names dot text is replaced by the contents of the file and then ls takes those arguments to list the specified directories. Note that ls does sort the output itself which is why its output doesn't match the order in the names file. Additionally, as with some of the other bash expansions, we can do nested command substitution. I'll run the same command as before but pass it to echo as an argument. So here the shell first expands the inner command substitution which is just the contents of the file sample names.txt. This goes to ls which lists the directories. But now the output of ls is printed to the screen with echo. Of course, as we saw before, the shell substitutes the new line characters with spaces and so the output looks pretty unreadable. The same can be done with the backtick syntax. However, here we have to use the backslashes around the inner backticks so that the outer command substitution doesn't end prematurely. 
If you were wondering, we can also combine the two types of syntax when doing nested command substitution, but I'll let you play around with that. In general, the newer dollar sign and parenthesis pair syntax is preferred over the backtick syntax. This was a quick introduction to command substitution, the syntax, and how we can use it in everyday tasks on the Bash shell. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please email us at staff at hpc.nih.gov.